Good morning, good morning. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Derek Casey coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. I had my first cup of coffee already, so I'm already fired up to share this video with you guys because I feel like this is something that people need to hear, okay? Because I know a lot of y'all been kind of seeing my, my posts lately and a lot of great things happening in me and my family's life, but the crazy thing about it is, is that it was not always that way, right? We had some obstacles to overcome. We'd have been on that roller coaster ride. We've had some of the same things happen in our lives, like some struggles that led us to this, right? But the only difference is, is that we know we ex we stayed excited, but we stayed focused on the vision. We knew that if we just kind of push through, right? If we weather the storm, that one day everything that we've been working so hard for would start to come to fruition. And that's exactly what's been happening. But I want to talk to you guys and take you guys back into the journey so that way I can help you, right? Because anybody that's wanting uh, that's wanting to start a home-based business or, you know, do something online or whatever the case, you know, obviously, you know, your goal is to get new signups and people to join you. You know, I get questions all the time like, you know, how do people follow you? You know, what do you do to get people to sign up and different things like that? So I'm going to give you the real sauce this morning so that way you can start doing the same thing. See, there's been a perception with online marketers because there are millions of people on social media, right? Millions of people on social media all across the board from Facebook to Instagram to YouTube to Twitter to Snapchat. Now TikTok is blowing up. Everybody's you know, doing their little moves, you know, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? All of these days, right? So there's so many people out there that's looking. Why? Because in our economy right now, guys, you got to understand that these jobs are not guaranteed to anybody. So if you guys haven't really paid attention to what's been going on uh, from 2020 with this pandemic and so many people losing their jobs and falling behind on bills and, and, and going through that that whole journey during that time, right? Things are starting to open back up and starting to move a little bit. But if you didn't pay attention, the jobs are not guaranteed. So people have to find ways to make additional income. So just in case if another pandemic comes across the table, right, comes into our lives and shake things up a little bit, they're going to be more prepared this time around, right? So I usually tell people during this time, guys, and this is something I always tell people, last year when jobs were closing down, we were in this pandemic, social distancing, all of these things, what's the one thing that never shut down? The internet, the internet never shut down. It actually kind of fell into a pocket um, where people really started, where it really started to make sense to people. Why? Because if we got a pandemic and we're having a social distance, we're wearing masks, we're doing all of these things. What's the, where's the safest place to work and make money in your home, right? It's in your home. So when you're sitting in your home and you have a business and you're able to still be able to talk with people and generate an income, why wouldn't people want to do that, right? Why wouldn't people want to do that? Now, people still have fears when it comes to online. People still have those questions. You know, does it work? Is it a pyramid scheme? Is it all of these things? People are still going to have that stuff in their mind, right? But how do you help them overcome those objections? How do you help them get past that negative and stinking thinking that they have? Well, the way to do it, guys, is by not trying to force them into your business prematurely before they're ready. The reason being, guys, is that not everybody is meant for your business. And if you have to convince or force people to get into your business before they are actually mentally ready to be in the business, guys, what's going to end up happening is that they're going to be looking for an exit strategy before they even get started. Why? Because here's the thing. The thing is, is that when they get started in your business, every little thing that doesn't go right, if something doesn't happen on their timeline, if, 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 if it seems all crazy or whatever the case, they're going to be looking to jump ship. They're going to be looking for it. So why waste the time forcing people? So here's what I was able to do. OK, because I wish somebody would have showed me this or told me about this in the beginning stages. But I'm glad that I went through six or seven years of falling on my face and having failures because it built the confidence now to be able to come in and talk to you guys 
Share this knowledge in hopes that you gain something from this and you implement it into what you're doing in your business. I don't care what business you're in online. I don't care if you're in health and wellness. I don't care if you're doing cryptocurrencies. I don't care if you're doing uh, financial credit. I don't care what you're doing online. If you start doing this, this is what's going to build. Guys, listen, it's all about branding you. It's all about branding you. See, people don't join businesses. They join people that they like, they trust, and they can relate to, okay? And the only way to do it, guys, is by documenting your journey from the beginning, from the beginning. It's almost like, I don't know if y'all have seen the, um, the Chicago Bulls series on Netflix, right? So when you look on, when you look on the, uh, like all the sporting um, news shows, right? And you see like them talking about Jordan and that team at the time. All you see is them winning, right? You see them out there, Jordan's boom, shaking loose on, on the Utah Jazz, ah, hitting some over, over Russell, right? You know what I'm saying? You see them winning these championships, but you don't see all the stuff behind the scenes. So when this docuseries came out, it took you back on a journey to show you that it wasn't all glitz and glamours. It wasn't all roses. People weren't always winning and everything was going great in the locker room. You actually saw people in a different light during this docuseries, but it's all part of the journey. And I think that's the biggest piece that's missing when you get on in an online business is that we're afraid to be transparent. We're afraid to tell the real story of what happens in this industry so that way we could truly prepare people before they get started. And I had to learn that. See, in the beginning stages, guys, I was living by this fake it till you make it, right? Persona that, that comes along with online. I'm telling you, I did some crazy stuff, man. I was uh, I couldn't wait for payday so I could go to the ATM and pull out money and then shoot videos like, oh, man, you know, this opportunity is so awesome. And I'm counting 20s in front of people. But little did they know that came out my ATM from my J-O-B, right? They had me on there Google searching black hands because I'm black, right? I'm Google searching black hands looking for money, uh, holding money. So when I was posting pictures... I was putting those things up and putting little captions around them. Oh, who wants to make this a week or whatever the case, right? That was what I was doing in my business. And what it was doing for me, guys, it was attracting the wrong type of people because they weren't looking at the overall picture. All they was looking at was the type of money I was saying that they could make. And in their mind, they were thinking when they got started that that was like a guarantee that because I was showing them that in the video, they wasn't worried about what it took for them to get there and how many people they had to sign up and, and the training they had to go through to learn and, and talking about branding yourself and all the things that come along with starting a business. They didn't worry about none of that. They was worried about the money that was in my hand, what I was telling them they could potentially make. And I was setting myself up for failure. It took me about five to six years to truly figure out. So here's a great story for you guys on why I'm telling you guys this story because it worked. So I, I went through different companies, right? I ended up getting to another company. It was a company nobody was even talking about. Nobody was talking about it. It was one that was behind the scenes, but this company had been around for like 15, 16 years. People were getting paid. The residual income was amazing. They're still going today, right? But here's the crazy thing about it. I got started with this, uh, this company and, um, I, I was like, man, I don't even know like what is going to happen. But I was so excited. All I knew is I was so excited about it. Right. So I got started and I did what most people do. I reached out to a few people that I knew. I told them about it. And guess what happened? They told me no. Why? Because there was no hype around it. They didn't see everybody else talking about it. I was the first person that was coming to them, like sharing this with them. And they didn't. Right. So I just kind of kept plugging away. So what I started to do, I said, you know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to document my journey from the beginning. I said, I want to give this a shot. So what I did was I started shooting videos, just telling people what I was doing and why I was excited about it. What I saw in this opportunity that made me excited and I was just going for it. Right. So this is exactly what was going on in my life. So I, I started shooting those videos. What happened was people started paying attention. Did people sign up at that time? No, because I didn't have the results. I couldn't really show them nothing, but I had their attention. What they did see was a guy that was super excited about an opportunity. And any, if any of you guys know, when you come on my videos, I'm always fired up and excited to talk to people and things like that. So when they saw that, 
what they had in their mind was, man, he's excited about this, right? And he's excited about this for a reason. And they started following me. So when I kept documenting my journey, like I had invested, I told them what I invested, why I was excited. I can't wait for my package. You know, when it comes in, I'm going to open it up with you guys. I'm going to show you guys. I took them on a journey with me. Okay. When that package came in, I had my postcards. I had all of this stuff. I, I didn't even open it. So I didn't even know what was in that package, but I wanted to open it with my audience. So when they came in, they seen a the seal. They seen me open it. I was pulling stuff out. I'm doing this. I'm like doing this off the top. I, I didn't rehearse. I didn't do nothing. I'm like, yo, look, y'all got to check this out. Boom, hit the postcards. I was showing them everything, right? All of a sudden, I started getting into it. I was like, man, I can't wait to get started. Guys, stay tuned because when I get my first check, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is. So once people started seeing that, I had a couple people, right? I had a couple of people that uh, decided they, they were had enough courage to hit me up and was like, yo, dude, this actually sounds really good. I'm on board. <clears throat> I say, oh, okay, cool. Boom. They signed up. So with the way the compensation plan, I got my first three people. One of them I had to pass up. I got paid for two, right? It was $75 per sign up and that's residually, right? So what happened was I was so fired up because I knew at this point, I had documented my journey. So I didn't have nothing when I shot the video at first. I was just sharing my excitement, telling people about it, just staying in front of people. When I got my first check, guys, my first check was $150. $150. Not life-changing. I wasn't no millionaire. I wasn't talking about, oh, snap, I'm on a jet, all of these different things. I ain't say none of that. I showed $150. Guess what happened? People that have been following me from the beginning started jumping on board. Why? Because I kept it real from the jump. I kept it real. If it didn't work, they would have seen that it didn't work. And I would have told them and been truthful with them. But because they saw me get started, they saw my package, they seen how easy it was, all of these different things. When that check came, that $150 was the proof that I needed for people to trust me enough to say, you know what, Derek? I want to get started. And when that happened, guys, the floodgates opened up for me. It opened up. People just started rolling in. We ended up in, uh, me and my business partner at that time, guys, ended up bringing in over 1,300 people into this opportunity, helping them build residual income, which was really awesome. And one of the greatest stories, one of the girls that was with us was able to, to get out of her mom's house. She had just had a baby. She needed her own place, but didn't have the money. We were able to help her build up her residual income that allowed her to get her own place for her baby. Like I, these are things that I'm so proud of um, in these moments. And I don't talk about these things a lot, but there's a lot of things that I've been able to achieve that I'm not one to want to boast about, oh, look at what I did, right? Like I just love helping people. And because I took that risk, and I dove into something that people weren't looking into because I, I seen the vision and everything. I was able to open that door up for so many other people, 1,300 people that ended up coming into our group, right? So that was something that was really awesome, but it started with me documenting my journey from the beginning, okay? I'm here to tell you guys the misconception that happens online is that you have to be some guru, have all of this money in your bank account, and be driving foreign cars and flying around the world for people to trust and believe in you. Let me tell you why that does not work. Because when you have somebody that already have achieved those things, and you got people that's way back here that haven't even gotten started, that's very overwhelming to somebody. Let me give you an example. If you go to the gym and you in there and this is your first time, you ready to get your summer bod on, dad's ready to get ready them dad bods, the ladies ready to get snatched, right? They ready to get to get things tightened up, right? And you go into the gym for the first time, you know you're not going to be at peak performance when you walk into that gym. You already know that. But when you go in and you sit in there and you getting ready, right? Guys, you're getting ready to get on that bench. You put them two plates on there because that's all you can lift. You just getting started, right? And you get under there. Oh, you ready. You ready. Oh, you ready, right? You're getting ready to push it up. Some muscle-bound man comes walking in that's been working out all his life. Traps, muscles, chest, everything, right? 
walks in and the empty bench that's right next to you, he comes, he come to that bench and he hitting his chest. He, ah, he get ready, right? <laughs> he get ready. What you think that's going to do to your mentality, right? When you look over and you see this brother and he done threw on four plates on each side and he over there, he getting ready. And you got these two little plates. Do you think that you're going to be motivated in that moment and you're going to push and give it your all in that moment? Absolutely not. Why? Because you can't relate to that guy. You can't relate to him. You can't put four plates on him and match what he's doing and all of that. It's going to take time for you to get in there, right? It's going to take time for you to, to get your body to that point. So you're going to start feeling down on yourself and you're just not, you're going to be worried about what other people are thinking because you think everybody's looking at him and you don't want to look foolish. So you end up saying, you know what the hell with these weights, I'm going to go get on the treadmill, right? That's what, <laughs> that's what people will do, right? So, but... Let's flip that scenario, right? Same scenario. First time in the gym, you're getting ready to go. Guys, you're getting ready to put them plates on. Ladies, you're getting ready to lift the weights, right? And you get on there and you're getting ready to do it. Somebody else comes along and it's their first day in the gym. It's their first day in the gym. And they put on two plates and they sit on the bench right next to you. What do you think that's going to do for you? Men your, your mentality, right? You guys are going to be on the same level. You guys can relate to each other, right? Y'all talking about this being the first time in the gym and everything like that. So guess what? You have a connection with that person. So guess what you're going to naturally start doing? You're going to start motivating each other to push through because you know that it's going to be hard. It's the first day. It's going to be crazy, but you guys are going to be able to build because you're on the same level. It's the same thing when you get started in your online business, guys. It is okay for you to document your journey because when you document your journey, you keep it real, you're going to be able to attract the people who like trust and can relate to your journey that's going to bring in. You're going to bring in the right people because if they can see you going through the good, the bad, and the ugly in your business and still be successful and still have the courage to say, you know what, pull out a credit card, I want to sign up, that means that they see something that you built the confidence through your story that allowed them to say, you know what, if he can do it, if she can do it, I can do it as well. I want to join. That's what y'all have to do. Now, does this happen overnight? Absolutely not. Rome wasn't built in the day, but you got to build you. You have a company that you can leverage to make money, right? to create that additional income. But at the end of the day, that business don't run without you. It doesn't matter how much money you can potentially make. It doesn't matter about all of that stuff. I mean, it's, it's part of it, but really what it is, people are connecting to you. They're connecting to you. It's about branding who you are. See, people connect with me and have been connecting with me over the years because I bring people into my world. There's times that I'm on my video, my kids climbing over my head. Guess what? Guess who's paying attention? Parents. They could relate to me because <clears throat> I have parents, uh, parents watching. There's times that I shoot videos when I'm at my nine to five. Who's going to relate to me? Other people that work nine to fives that may feel like they don't have enough time or they don't know if they could do it and all of these different things. But when they see me and they see that I'm still putting in the work, even when I'm at my nine to five, guess what? I'm showing them that it is possible that they can do it. That's why I shoot the videos like I do, because I want people to see that, hey, all them objections that you have in your mind, all them scenarios that you create in your mind to tell you that you can't, I'm going to show you why you can. I'm going to show you why you can. Because if I can do it being married, having four beautiful babies, working a full-time job, and still being able to manage a business and create an additional income that has allowed me and my family to surpass a lot of the things that we haven't been able to achieve over the years, guys, I want you to know that you can do it. And I'm not trying to hear you tell yourself, I'm not going to sit around you and let you down yourself or feel like you're not worthy. Anytime you come on this video, understand, if don't nobody else believe in you on your journey, Derek Casey down here in Dallas is rooting you on. I am rooting you on because I want to see you win.
not just for yourself, but we got to start blazing the trail for our babies. That's who I am as a person. That's why I'm so passionate about what I do. That's why I get so excited to shoot these videos for y'all and connect with you guys to let you know, like, man, this is crazy. I just put up a post last night. I just put up a post last night. Me and my wife, we just got great news last week that we got pre-approved for our home, right? That we got pre-approved for our home. Do you know what that means to me? I didn't put that up for people to be like, congratulations. Oh, Derek, so happy for you. No, I put that up because it reminded me what it took for us to get here. And when I put that up and I said to you guys, me and my wife have come a long ways from the nights of sitting on that couch, looking on Zillow.com, looking at beautiful homes, right? Window shopping, driving through neighborhoods, looking at homes, hoping and wishing that one day we will be able to live in something like that, that we will be able to raise our children in something like that. And then to today, it being our reality, and we're not sh just window shopping, that we are now looking at homes that we're going to be able to raise our kids in. Guys, that right there is a testimony for the ages. My hair standing up because I know what I went through. I know how many times I had to fall on my face. I seen my financial situation cause a wedge in my marriage. I went through it. It tore us apart. Man, I'm like, you can hear it in my voice because that's what it was about. It wasn't about, oh, look at me. Oh, we got it, right? No, it was like, guys, I went through it. But I stayed the course. I kept pushing along. I stayed prayed up. And I kept having faith because God told me, keep going. That giving up wasn't an option. Even when I was exhausted, days that I didn't want to do nothing, I had presentations. Play I mean, y'all don't understand. I don't come on here and, and share all of that, but I wanted to tell you guys that it it didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight. Am I a millionaire by any means? No, I'm not. I still work a nine to five. If I was a millionaire, I wouldn't be shooting videos at a job, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm proud of where we're at. I've been able to travel more. I, I mean, just last month, I back to back weeks, I was in Atlanta for business. Then the next week I flew to, uh, to LA. Never had the luxury of doing that. I never had that luxury. I wanted to see what it felt like because I don't do much. My life is filled with being with my family. That's what I'm with. My wife usually kicks me out and tells me I need to do something with my life because I always just want to be, <laughs> I just want to go to work and be with my kids and, you know, stuff like that. So she like literally was like, Derek, you need to go do something. Like go enjoy, right? right? Like that's what it was because I don't spend money on myself. Like I don't do things like everything that I do is for my wife and my kids. I don't need much in life. If I ain't have a wife and kids and it was just me, I don't care. I, I could take the most minimal stuff and be happy in life. But I want them to be able to enjoy the finer things in life. And that's the reason why I bust my butt all the time. That's the reason why I shoot these videos because I want you guys to know I'm no different than any of you guys. I've had my struggles. I've been through it. I didn't lost both of my parents, right? Been going through life, having to figure things out. Didn't have them to lean on for great advice. I just took what I learned up until the time that God brought them home. And I just had to learn by experience, which sometimes is the greatest teacher, okay? So I just wanted you guys, and I listen, I'm not gonna apologize for my excitement and my passion, but once again, this video is to let you guys know that you can do it. That if you follow what I'm telling you in this video and you just start documenting your journey, tell people why you're excited. Why did you choose your opportunity? Like, what was it about it? What are your goals? Like, share that with people. Bring them into your world and let them see that because people are waiting to hear from you. They are tired of seeing these cliche um, advertisements. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give y'all my, my, uh, my act on it. Get the dramatic music. Hi, my name is Derek. And, you know, it's been a very rough road for me and my family along the way. At times, you know, we just live paycheck to paycheck and just never had any of those things that uh, that we truly wanted in life. And I was down on my luck back against the wall and I only had $40 in my account. 
And I seen an opportunity come across on social media and I was just like, this could be the chance. I was afraid. I was skeptical. But you know what happened, guys? I just I decided to take that leap of faith and I spent my last forty dollars. I didn't know where I was going to get food from or how I was going to pay my bills, but I just knew that I needed to do this. And now fast forward. Now I'm flying around in jets. We're living in mansions and this is all nice. I just bought a Lamborghini and a Ferrari for my wife and all of these different Come on, man. <laughs> People get tired of seeing that, man. Everywhere you turn, these are like the same, the same things. I can't get jiggy with that. I can't connect to that. I can't connect to that anymore. I've seen that so many times over the years that I decided I didn't want to be that person anymore. I didn't want to be fake it till you make it Casey anymore. I wanted to make sure that people got the real information, being transparent and making sure you guys understood exactly what's going on. OK, so I just want to say to you guys, when there's a will, there's a way. In every negative situation, there's always a positive outcome. There's a reason why you're going through the things that you're going through right now. Them tough times, you know, the hitting the walls, like feeling like things ain't going your way because God is getting you ready for your ultimate blessing. There are times that God is going to bring people into your life like me that's going to wake you up and shake your world up a little bit to let you know that you can do it. To let you know that you are worthy of the finer things in life and being able to give your family everything that they deserve. And I'm not going to tell you anything less than that. So if you're a person that just want to sit on your soapbox all day and woe is me and life is so hard, I'm unlucky. And you don't want to take heed to these messages. These ain't the videos for you. But for the ones who are open minded and want to soak this information up. And be ready to just break free of the struggle, break free from that financial prison that you're in. Guys, I'm your guy. I'm going to show y'all how to get there. I earned my stripes in this industry. I done fell on my face many times. God prepared me for this moment, and I'm ready. All right? So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It's your boy, Derek Casey. Signing off from Dallas, Texas, guys. Listen, love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everybody that has supported me over the years. Everybody that has motivated me and kept me in the game, even when I felt down on myself. You know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to know that I appreciate you to the fullest. And if there's anything that I could do to help you along your journey, my message is always open. If you need my phone number, you need to talk. I'm here for y'all as well, all right? So that being said, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Kick some ass on this Thursday. I'm going to holler at y'all soon, all right? Peace.